All right, air, having air conditioning on your vehicle is more than just having cool air coming out of your vents. The compressor actually pushes the Freon through the pipes and through the condenser, which creates extra heat. Which means if you don't have a clean, efficient cooling system, it's going to want to run hot. On this particular vehicle right here, I actually did try to run AC before doing cool system flush. It wanted to run hot. So, yeah, I had to, uh, <clears throat> what I did was I got six gallons of water. I got in a done a thermostat, pressed on radio air flush, and it was cycling all six gallons of water through it, about 500, 500 miles for every two gallons. And after doing that, it was running cooler when I run the AC. Nothing to consider other than change out your thermostat is right in there. You see that round shiny fin thing? It's fan clutch. If you don't, if you have one that's wore out, it's not going to spin that fan like you want, and uh, it's going to make ice tree also run hot. Hmm. It's another thing I had to replace. They cost around seventy dollars. Thermostat typically around ten dollars, depends where you get it from. But uh, for all you who are watching this video for getting this switch out this compressor, it took me about four hours to switch out this compressor. Because you got this uh, bracket, the way it sits there and holds the front and back of the compressor. After you get the four bolts out, you got all these nuts out with your 9 sixteenths, 5 eighths. Don't forget to actually switch out your pressure sensor right there. I actually had to get a engine uh, lift to actually pull this compressor out because that's how stuck they are in there. So don't try to yank out yourself and hurt your back. So by the time I finally got it out, switched out the parts, got it back in there. It was a it was a it was a mess. <clears throat> so what all you need? You're gonna need some seals. Cause you got this connection right here, a ring seal for AC compressor also you might want to get um, AC oil, that's what I use on the seals. You got two connections down there, and all you got to do, all these uh, uh, mid-90s S10s, blazers, remove battery, and you can get down there with your uh, wrenches, I think they're 20 millimeter, and then you can switch out those two seals down there. Keep in mind, plumbing, these pipes are all aluminum. So don't over tighten them, otherwise you'll have to replace the tightening, possibly the you know condenser, accumulator. So pack of seals, like five, six dollars spend where you get them on. The dryer, also known as the accumulator. This costs around thirty dollars. Depends on where you get from, where you live at. Let's see. What else you need? Of course, don't forget your uh, two seals back here on that compressor. Critical. With the compressor, you gotta keep in mind that the compressor itself got seals in it too. I try to uh, do this, replace the seals and the dryer and the orifice down there. That's the connection down there. We see that brass fed net, it's not a ring down there. So, you got one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven connections where you gotta switch out your uh, O-rings at. But don't forget to get an orifice, which is really just a, it's a restrictor filter. That way, because that's where the uh, Freon goes from high pressure to low pressure because it restricts it. And on this side, the compressor is actually pulling, so that's where you get your cool air from. Blows through the uh, little radio, radio up through here, and that's how you get your cool air. Hmm. Let's see what else is there. Anyways, all together, I'd say it cost me somewhere around three hundred dollars because the compressor was like two hundred and forty. The accumulator, I won't say it was twenty-five dollars at the time. Might have been 30. 
pack of seals was like uh, five dollars. The little orifice, I think they're like five dollars, ten dollars, somewhere around there. <clears throat> but that price does not include the um, the actual fan clutch down there, seventy dollars. <laughs> or doing the cooling system flush. I'm just talking about just just the parts to switch out your AC because. Oh, another thing is I tried to get away without uh, actually re replacing the compressor. I thought the compressor was, you know, so good, which the seals were actually not that good. Once I replaced all the other seals, I tried to vacuum it down. Didn't work because it didn't vacuum it down. And I did want to hold free on because the compressor seals had gone bad. Of course, the vehicle was, this vehicle is 25 years old, so if you don't do it, you need to go ahead and just replace, you know, all the seals, dryer, filter, compressor, some tools you'll need. Got me a 10 inch adjustable, 12 inch adjustable. You definitely want to have both of them on there and do it so that you're doing uh, both your hands because you don't want to stress the aluminum or the brass and possibly uh, tear off or create a crack <clears throat> where you're dealing with any of these connections, any of them. All seven of them because they're, you know, it's aluminum. So, you definitely got to be careful with it unless you want to spend extra money to replace parts. But, I did this. And I won't say all together to be like maybe a full day to do all this. Of course, keep in mind you want to connect to your low pressure side right here, high pressure side right here. Some people just connect to the low pressure side to vacuum it down because you want to you have to uh, vacuum out all of the any possible moisture because moisture going into the compressor very bad because it will cause it it will possibly tear up you know <clears throat> parts inside the compressor that you want to get you another compressor but yeah used price or I should say what remain fresh price for one of these is like $140 I think it was but I just went ahead and got me a brand new one because <clears throat> it's supposed to have a lifetime warranty or something like that or some kind of a long warranty so yeah I did this, this for myself you know, vacuum it down, put the free on it um, O'Reilly's does have the vacuum pump and the hoses with the gauges which I'll show you a picture of <clears throat> so you can actually do this yourself at home but before before you actually go and start cracking stuff up, and you might want to take it to a dealership and let them vacuum out any remaining Freon that's actually in the system to be environmentally uh, conscious. So, let's see. Is there anything else I think it's mentioned? Hmm. Yeah, it was a little bit of work. The worst part of it, though, is definitely uh, getting this compressor out, though, with a uh, engine hoist so well, there's just <clears throat> another thing you want to pay attention to with these is let's see these bolts can't really see that one that much but uh you got your uh, three bolts that go through they have flat spots on them each one of them has a flat spot that beats up with a fl uh, flat spot on like the bracket itself there's a third one down there too and um, you want to uh, make make sure you get your flat spot aligned with this. That's all because that flat spot is made to go across the uh, compressor because it's a very tight fit. One of the things I did, I got me a quarter inch drive uh, extension and uh, got behind here. I think I had a shorter one at the time. And um, I pushed, once I got that flat spot right here, I pushed with uh, this on both of these. And that way I was able to push the bolts past the actual 
compressor wheel. Now with the one on the very bottom down there, what I did was I took a a small um, crowbar and I wedged up against this bracket right here and I pulled it out that way. That's how. It, so yeah, it can be done. It takes a little bit of work. It takes it probably it's probably going to take you all day to do it, but it can be done for around three hundred dollars.